this video, I'm going to be sharing what we have planned for this summer. First, we're going to be using this Family Devotions by Ruth Graham, Step Into the Bible. I found this used at a used bookstore a while ago, and we just have never had the time to read it. It actually looks like a great family devotional, so I am very excited to go through this this summer with my kids. Also going to be reading The Wind in the Willows. This is a book that I plan on reading out loud to my kids. This is another book that we've had for a while and we have not had the time to read it. During the school year we have so many books to read and we don't always have the time so I thought this summer would be perfect for reading this I'm assuming it's going to take us probably all summer to get through this book, but if we finish early, then we will just pick a, another book to read also. We're also going to read these few books on ants. Uh, we just purchased an ant farm and we ordered our ants and they just came in the mail yesterday. So we have it all set up and they're already already very busy working. So this is by Usborn and it has great pictures and lots of information as well. The illustrations in this one look really great also. This one here looks like it's a funny story. Truman's Ant Farm. But I believe he doesn't get the type of ants that he was wishing for. So it looks really cute. So my oldest son has been doing Rosetta Stone Spanish for a while now. Um, Sometimes he doesn't always get around to it. We usually try to have him do it at least once a week. But I thought, well, right now during the summer would be a good time for him to continue practicing his Spanish. Another thing that I'm going to have him do this summer is typing. This will be the very first time he does any type of um, typing curriculum. And the first I had purchased this for him to do this coming school year. But summer, it's like we have more times. He doesn't have the rest of his schoolwork to do. So I thought we should just try to do this this summer. And this is the one by the good and the beautiful. I liked the idea of having a paper book instead of a computer program but we're just going to have him try it out and see how he does in the future if he does need to do a computer a typing program then we'll just go ahead and switch over to that but I wanted to see how he does with this one first This is something that I just thought would be fun for us to do together as a family this summer. Um, 
this is a kid's cookbook. Um, I believe I purchased mine from Sunlight, but I'm sure you can find it anywhere. And it just has a lot of kid-friendly recipes. So this would be just for fun for us to do together. In the beginning here, it actually tells you some of the items that you're going to need before starting to cook. So, um, for my oldest, these are four books that he picked on his own from our bookshelves that he would like to read on his own independently this summer. He already started on this one, Tum Tum and Nutmeg Trouble at Rose Cottage. There's actually a whole series of these and we've read all of them except for this one. This is the very last one in the series. So he's, he loved, these are definitely some of his favorite books. We highly recommend these. He is very excited to finally read the last one. So we bought this used at our local library. Um, so I thought this would be a good one. It says, a summer tale of four sisters, two rabbits, and a very interesting boy. Since it is summer and this seems to be a summer tale, um, I asked if he would be interested in reading this one, and he said yes. So, this is going to be another one. And then, Arthur for the very first time. This book is by the same author that wrote Sarah Plain and Tall. And this one is also a summer tale. So, it takes place in the summer. And it just looks like it's really cute. Um, there is a farm, so it takes place in the farm. And my kids just love animals. So um, they loved Charlotte's Web. So this almost seems like it would be similar to that. And the last one he picked, and again, it's about a farm and animals. Um, I have seen this in the um, some of the sunlight packages. We bought ours at um, a library sale a while back. Um, this one also kind of reminds me of like Charlotte's Web. But it looks like a cute story as well. If he doesn't get to go through all four of the books, that is fine. It's supposed to be, you know, just for fun summer reading, so whatever he can get through would be great. And for myself this summer, I wanted to reread Mother Culture. Um, I've read this before. When it first came out and I first purchased this, I read it. I just love this book as well as, well as her other book about um, the Charlotte Mason, how to um, do the lessons. I love both of these books, so I would also highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to reread it just for fun. Another book that I want to read this summer is The Private World of Tasha Tudor. We have a few of her children's books and I just love them. I'm a big fan of her books. And when I saw this book, I just, it really interested me. I found it used on eBay. And it's just like a peek into her life. And there, it just looks amazing almost like from a storybook and I I wish 
I could live a life like this myself. So um, I think I'm going to really enjoy reading this through the summer. And the last book that I'm going to try to read is Home Education Volume 1 from the Charlotte Mason's original homeschooling series. Um, I would really love to be able to go through this as much as I can this summer. It's always good for me as a mom to also try to learn and improve and see what I can change or do or add to our homeschool, what we can do better. And I just love the Charlotte Mason style of education, which is what we try to do in our homeschool. So I'm also looking forward to reading this one as well. Here is our ant farm. Like I said, we just received the ants yesterday and they've already have made all these tunnels and then all these um, hills up here. When we first put the sand in, it was um, just level. So they have already created all those on top. My kids are really enjoying watching all the ants work. And this is the one that we purchased. We got this from Rainbow Resources. And inside it comes with the instructions and also a code where you can go online and get your ants. We actually, with that code that was included, all we had to do was pay for shipping, which was like $6. And we got the ants for free. This is our little homeschool bookshelf that we have here. Um, we live in a very small space, so um, sometimes it's hard to get organized, but this is our little area. So, um, so this school year that just finished, I had a fourth grader and a kindergartner. So I'm going to switch these out for this coming school year to fifth and first grade. I have not done that yet. And then down here, um, this is where we keep all our school books that we use for the year. So we use Heart of Dakota. So here's our creation to Christ that we just finished. Drawn into the heart of reading. Um, we just, we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> we tried this writing program this year and we really loved it, both my son and I. So I think we're going to continue using that this next year. Um, the Heart of Dakota guide that we used this last year is only four days a week. So on the fifth day, we had time to do um, a composer study. Um, we would do the laying down the rails, um, practice handwriting, and we also did this bird study from Simply Charlotte Mason. And then um, we used artistic pursuits for our art. So these are all things that we did on Friday when we didn't have our regular schoolwork. And then for my kindergartner, we were using Little Hearts for His Glory from Heart of Dakota, and these are all his books that he was using. And down at the bottom, this is just storage. This is just different art supplies that we have in here. My kids love working with clay and just paint, glitter, and 
bunch of different things in there. This has um, just like craft paper, different types of, um, this came I think with the Simply Charlotte Mason math, um, the bundle that they have, the kit. We, so we just use these things for crafting, just different things in here. And a bag of stickers. This one has all of our supplies that we have not used yet. This is what we were planning to use this coming school year. And it's, um, we're gonna be continuing with artistic pursuits. Um, what I'm doing is I'm trying to match what we're studying in history with our art curriculum. So that's been working really well. Here is just random things that we have. Also, um, maybe for crafts or things like that, just extra supplies, erasers. This one just collects random things <laughs> throughout the year. Here we have stuff that we use for math. Um, so like counters and just um, this clock was pretty helpful. Um, learning to tell time, and then there's the different shapes you can add in there. But all of these things are just for counting math facts. More flashcards. These are all from... Target. More counters. These are for fractions. We're barely going to start using them. We bought these at um, from Rainbow Resources. Resource. And then I do have... The two math kits available from Simply Charlotte Mason. We have not used them as of yet. Um, my oldest is in higher math already, so um, these levels would be too low for him. And I'm debating if I'm going to use them with my youngest this coming school year. And last, this one has kind of random things in here too. <laughs> so these here, um, we created these from, well, we made them, um, there was this book that I used to make these. You're, you make the photocopy and then you cut them out using the um, vanilla folders and then you can color them, decorate them. It actually, the book tells you ideas on how to decorate them. And then you just write all the words inside. Um, we haven't finished decorating all of them yet. We're still in the process. But they're still able to use them even though they're not colored, all colored. So I have just been storing them in this bin so far. I also keep um, just these are flashcards that we have used. Um, these are to learn your math facts. That's another thing actually that I wanted um, to make sure that my son did this during the summer this this year. Here are just some audiobooks um, and all our picture studies that we have so far from Simply Charlotte Mason. And we have 
one of um, the stuff they left behind that we're going to be using soon. And this is Rocky. And that is all. So this is our little homeschool shelf. I purchased this one from Etsy. It's actually a download, so you, you um, buy it and then you print it yourself and I framed it. And here, um, this one also purchased from the same person, printed it and then framed it myself. <laughs> 